This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today we're going to talk about the Gorilla and Yeti pets. Let's get to it. I covered all of this in the Hanuman's Grotto video that I put out the other day, but once the patch went live, they made some changes. So this is an update video covering all of those changes. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, Hanuman's Grotto is right here. Uh, I did a whole video about it. Uh, there's not a whole lot to it this guy's here now is one of the changes that was made and this box here which you sacrifice hearts to in order to get uh, gorilla and yeti pets killing this guy gets you one of the hearts he drops the withered heart as you can see right there and uh, then pretty much any other heart in the game including yes the heart of the sands which I find kind of weird that that's one of the things sacrificing them will get you one of the gorilla pets or yeti pets out of this and if you have all of them in your inventory and you look at it and you hit E it you just get them all at once as you can see said sacrifice accepted and I got one of everything that you can get from this thing alright so let's talk about the final stats on these pets what you sacrifice to get what and where you can find what you need to sacrifice I have all of the yetis and gorilla options spawned in the first thing we're gonna take a look at however is the Hanuman's gift potion that you can get by sacrificing a human heart. You can get human hearts by using the set ritual knife on pretty much any human. A lot of these low levels around here, like over here in this camp, you know, that's a good one to farm. Pretty much any low level, well, any humans that you use the set knife on should give you a human heart. So we'll just go over here, we'll drop a couple of these guys, kill that guy there, and there you go. You can see that we just picked one up. So right there, human heart, really easy. Just get you a set knife and kill humans. The great thing about this potion is you should be able to farm it relatively early game and it gives you a random bonus effect when you use it. So you can see that we just got increased accuracy by three. Keep in mind that this is just a random elixir effect. So I have the elixir of sight here. If we go to our stats, increased accuracy, it's got the little elixir of sight symbol. If I use it, you can see that it doesn't stack. So it's just like early game random elixirs, but it's relatively easy to harvest the human hearts and you're gonna be wanting to do a lot of killing early game anyway. So stacking up on these things and getting random buffs could be helpful to you maybe. I mean, you may not get the buffs that you're looking for, but if you drink enough of them, I'm sure you'll eventually get the buff that you're after and hearts are easy to get a hold of. And as I showed you, you can sacrifice a lot of them at one time. So you can run in there, kite the guy around the statue and just sacrifice the hearts and run back out and never even fight the boss that's in there and get you a bunch of potions and go on your way. Next, we're gonna take a look at the gorillas here. So we have the base gorilla, which comes in at 2,746 HP. Then that is followed by the gray ape, which is the next highest at 3,610. And then your basically top tier greater gorilla is the silverback at 8,265. So to get the silverback, you just need heart of a hero to get the gorilla you need to kill the boss that's in that dungeon to get the withered heart and to get the gray ape you use the heart of the king scourge okay so where do you get the heart of the hero you can get that right over here pretty much any of the little mini bosses over here in the unnamed city so we'll wait for them to pop in here because i just teleported over here but there's my favorite one is right here on this like bridge area but there's a bunch of other ones around here but this one right here is my favorite because it's the easiest to find and get to there you go killed it they drop a heart of a hero the king scourge heart can be found in the black keep which is up here if you don't know where that's at it's a dungeon and the boss in that dungeon is the king scourge you want to kill him and uh, his heart you get his heart when you kill him honestly I think you'd be better off using it in the recipes for the stuff that you get there as opposed to crap crafting this guy or sacrificing it to get this guy it only 3610 um he's not that great and the other hearts are can be easier to get a hold of i should say for example the heart of the hero over there in the unnamed city is relatively easy to get a hold of those those mini bosses are relatively easy to farm as we're fighting the king scourge is a full-on boss so and not just a mini boss or you can kill the boss in hanuman's grotto and get the withered heart to get the gorilla at 2746 he's not doesn't have too much less hp than this guy here and he 
he hits he hits pretty hard but honestly your heart of your hero is going to be your easiest one to get with with for the silverback which is an absolute beast okay moving on to the yetis we have the yeti protector which is the heart of a nordheimer and to get that you have to kill a nord that is a named nord so you can't just go up there to the nordheimers uh you know wherever they spawn up in here in new asgarth or wherever and kill just any old nordheimer you need named ones so you're gonna have to give up a named thrall in order to get the heart so i just spawned in a tier 4 archer here and we're just going to kill him you can see he's named and we'll kill him and there you go you can see that he dropped the heart of a nordheimer so once again you're gonna have to give up a named thrall to get the normal yeti here that weighs in at 3610 hp so he has the same hp as the gray ape but you got to sacrifice a tier 4 thrall which could serve you better than this guy and then you can just go kill one of the mini bosses in the unnamed city and get you the silverback gorilla which is going to be better than this guy anyway last but not least we have the black yeti protector which you can see is much bigger than the normal yeti he's absolutely massive fella there and you need the heart of the sands to get him this is a little bit more involved you're gonna have to kill a few extra bosses to get this thing so we are here at galaman's tomb and this is going to be your first stop you're gonna run back into this thing and there's a big old alligator back in here a crocodile whatever and you got to kill it and that you're gonna have to fight a bunch of other crocs as well but if we head on back in here you got this big boy right here so you're gonna have to kill this big fella and uh you can see he weighs in at only 1000 hp so he's not gonna be too bad and he's a mini boss kill him then once he's dead you just use your pickaxe on him and you will get the first part of the stone so there you go you can see i got the jagged scourge stone piece it's right there that's your first part of this puzzle your next step is going to be up here at the passage and you're gonna have to run back in here and there is a locust queen boss so once you get back in here you have to climb down this here so you just climb on down here so you get to the bottom and she's on this back half here right here she is so you're gonna have to kill her if we give her a little whack there you can see she only has 2000 hp so we're gonna murder her once again hit her with your pickaxe and you can see we got the broken scourge stone piece so that's a the second part of this puzzle and last but not least you need to head on over to buccaneers bay all the way at the top of this um scaffolding ship whatever you want to call it the top of this right here so you got to work your way all the way up here and you want this fella right here this guy whoever spawns here you kill them may not always be him you see it's a slightly different guy oh no it's the same guy he just looks different anyway kill that guy that gets you the final piece to the puzzle now we have to combine them all so then to combine them you have to come here to the sand swept ruins so you can see where i am here on the map and then we're gonna run back into here and there's a dude in the back here so you just run around run around here and run down the side and he's right back in here so this guy right here you just talk to him you can see it says purchase the heart of the sands so you just click that because we have all of the pieces and then he gives you the heart of the sands scourge stone and then you can take that and sacrifice it to get the black yeti protector and the black yeti protector comes in at 8265 hp and he's an absolute behemoth so honestly i think your best bet i mean you can fight those those mini bosses aren't too terrible i mean you have to fight a little through some other stuff to get some of those pieces like in the buccaneers bay you're gonna have to fight your way up to that guy but that shouldn't be too bad for you late game and late game those other bosses aren't going to be that bad for you at all and then it's just a lot of running to get this guy however you could just go kill one of the mini bosses in the unnamed city and get this fella and oh no it's a croc and now for some reason they've decided to attack but anyway and get this fella here which has 8265 hp 
and will probably serve you just as well as the Black Yeti, the Protector, although he's not quite as intimidating, but they do have the same HP. We'll have to test damage values later, but as far as HP goes, they're the exact same. I honestly don't think these other ones are worth it, considering the trouble that you have to go through to get the stuff. So for like example, this guy right here, it only 3,610 HP. I would much rather use this heart to craft one of the swords. And this guy's not too terrible, uh, but he's not as good. So if you wanna kill that boss there in the Hanuman's Grotto, then have at it and use the Withered Heart for this gorilla. But I mean, you can see he's not not the worst but you could also just go spend the same effort you would spend to get this to get this and get this guy and I honestly don't think it's worth sacrificing a named Nordheimer thrall in order to get the Yeti I would much rather knock it out and tame it I mean unless you're just full up on thralls and you just want a Yeti but his HP is only at 3610 which is the equivalent to this guy over here um, which isn't that great. I kind of wish that he was on par with the Black Yeti, the Protector. It would feel more of a worthwhile sacrifice, in my opinion. Because you could, if that's a Tier 4 named Fighter Thrall, it's probably going to serve you better than this guy here, considering the fact you can put armor on it and put completely OP weapons on it, where this guy's just going to have plain old base whatever he has damage all right so that's it for this video i hope you all enjoyed this update that is going to wrap it up for this episode if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button i want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible y'all are absolutely amazing people if you would like to join my elite crew of patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and show your support until next time thanks for watching